another tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how to do uh, a simulation of a membrane protein. So this is the second tutorial of the um, uh, Gromax uh, MD tutorials. Uh, before I start the tutorial, I want uh, to ask from you guys, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed to my channel. Uh, that way I can keep making these free videos for you through YouTube. Okay, so let's start this um, second tutorial. So uh, there are um, uh, many steps that you have to do in this tutorial and this is I think the hardest tutorial in this um, MD tutorial uh, set. So if I go back to the introduction, so what you're basically going to do is you're going to make a DPPC bilayer and going to put KALP a peptide in the middle of that bilayer and do some simulation and analyze, and analyze the results of that interaction between bilipid layer and the peptide. Okay, so um, let's start. So um, first you need to make your peptide, initial coordinates your peptide. You can uh, make the initial coordinates of the peptide using uh, many tools. Okay, um, uh, you can use um, uh, Avogadro, or you can you, you can use any software that you like in order to make the peptide. And then you have to orient the peptide. You can also do this using different uh, simulation tools, uh, different different modules like Amber Tools, uh, XSleep module of Amber Tools. So they already provide us the perfectly oriented structure. So I'm here going to download that one. Now I will make a new folder. Always try to make a new folder for your um, simulation. So I'm going to make DPPC and peptide. Okay, now I'm going to put my PDB file in there. Okay, all right. Now I will go to the PDB file and show you what is inside. So that way you know what the PDB file look like. Um, so in our PDB file, we have 249 atoms and we have different amino acids in our peptide. We have glycine, we have lysine, we have leucine, we have alanine. Uh, different different types of amino acids. So if we want to s visualize what this peptide looked like, you need to have VMD in installed in your system, in your uh, computer. And let's say I put it here, and you can see. Okay, so this how it looks like. Okay, so this is your peptide and it is oriented on the Z axis. Okay. All right. Now, next, what we need to do is we need to get rid of the hydrogen, unwanted hydrogen atoms, and we need to uh, give the our uh, tell our Gromax that we need to use SPC water format. In order to do that, we have to type this command. Okay. First, I have to open up. A, terminal from here and then I would say uh, GMX GMX calls for the uh, uh, Gromax and PDB to GMX and then input file KALP 15 PRIHC dot PDB Okay, and then we need the output in the grow format, in the grow map format, process dot grow. And then now we need to ignore the hydrogen. You do that minus IGN ignore hydrogen and TER, and then we need to put water. SPC water format. 
ASPC board. Okay, so it will ask what uh, force field that we need to use. So in here they say we need to use Gromos 9653A6. So 53A6, which is 13. And then we don't need any terminus right now, so it's none for both. All right. It is done. Now let's go to the topology. So now we need to create a topology for our peptide and for our uh, DPPC by the Okay. So you need to read all of these things. And normally now we, because we don't have a PDB, uh, DPPC PDB, we need to download it. So we are going to download through this website. Okay. So we need to download DPPC 128 PDB. DPPC 128. Okay. Right here. Right here. And then we need DPPC ITP. Those are the parameters for that DPPC. And then lipid ITP parameters for the lipid. Okay, now. I'm going to go into this one and then I need to copy and place all of these things in this folder. Big paste. Okay. All right. So after that, what you need to do is you need to copy now you have to make some changes to your force field grow more 53a6 force field because that one doesn't have lipid uh, parameters so you need to copy the lipid parameters from lipid itp and include in your uh, non-bonded interactions of your of your grow most force field so how are you going to do that you need to make a copy of your force field in your folder so we have to go to where your uh, force field, uh, your grow max is installed. So the easiest way to find out where your grow max is, you type GMX, and it will tell you that your data prefix where your uh, grow max is. So in mine is use a local bin grow max. I'll we'll just copy that, and then I I will do CP minus R. Copy paste that. And then I will type share grow max top grow most fifty three a six dot fl. Now I'm gonna copy here to my folder as grow most. Okay. Here I made a mistake. So this one has to be go go most go most fifty three a six and I will rename it as go most fifty six a six lipid dot f f okay and then. Now, if you go to your folder, you can see that it created this new folder with, with my, this is our force field now that we are going to use. Okay, now we have to change the parameters in the force field. So now we need to um, add, uh, we need to change the force field document just we just need to change it the the name of the force field so you go to force field doc i'm gonna change this to
with lipid parameters. Okay. Yes. All right. So now I changed it. Now I need to uh, copy paste it. Copy paste some of the parameters from my lipid ITP to this one. So first of all, I need to do the atom types because the atom types in lipid ITP doesn't have the atomic number. So I need to just copy paste from this website. So let's see. Let me show you what I mean. Here, their atom types are in this format. But if you go to your four field non bonded ITP, your atom numbers have a, a atomic number um, color, which doesn't have it in your one. So either you copy this and put the atomic number manually, or you can just copy paste this information from here. Okay, to go here. All right, well, that's done. Now we need to go to the non bonded parameters. Okay, so non bonded parameters, we need to go. Put the parameters. We just copy this. Okay. We don't need the pair type, just the non bonded. Okay. Non bonded. Let's go to the non bonded. Copy paste. Get rid of that. That's good. And then I think it says tell us in the non border parameter section, you will find the line parameter for lipid bromos interaction. Delete this line and all subsequent lines in this section. But we have to preserve the SPC, SPC -E water format. So let's go to the we just need to delete this. Starting from here, delete until that you find information about your SPC water. Okay, so that's done. Next, we need to copy the pair type. From lipid ITP, pair types. Copy, and here you can find the pair types. Sorry, it has to be somewhere here. types all right so that's done and then we did the pair type okay we deleted this and then then we have to HW is not the uh, chromos format, so we have to delete these lines. Anything with HW, we have to delete. So, how do we find HW? Just command F HW. Okay, here we go. So, we have now I think we don't have anything in which I'll be anymore. Yep, so that's good. So I think we are done with that now. Alright, 
so these are the changes that we did oh no finally now we need to do append the condensing dihydro di dihedro to the ff bonded okay so we have to close the non-bonded one go to this dihedral information and put that in in here okay. all right so that's done now we have to change the include statement in our topology file because now we change our uh, um, force field now this has to change to lipid so lowercase lipid so it has to also change here lipid lipid okay now we need to include the dppc in our topology so what we're going to do is after your position restraint let me include this it basically tells you to include the dppc itp this guy in your topology okay it's gonna come here with the dppc so, okay the three molecules of dppc in there yep all right now next if you want to do change the other four fields like opls those things you have to read the other documentation by Justin and Lemma. Okay, now the second step is to orient the protein and the membrane and then pack the lipids around the protein and uh, solvate with water.